Hi there, my name's Brownie Blake. I'm very lucky to be one of the makeup artists on This Morning. I also have the pleasure of working with Holly Willoughby two days a week on This Morning. Um, I also do the beauty feature on Wednesdays of This Morning, so I've kind of been part of the team, which is great. Um, this is my first ever blog. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of a small introduction of what I do in the mornings because I know a lot of people don't have time in the mornings and you know but you still want to wear something so that's kind of the introduction that I'm going to give you um, but first I have to take off my makeup so apologies in advance and I'm going to tie back my hair because it's easier to do that um, and hopefully it will help you a little bit bit of tips yeah enjoy Ta -da! I've also put my hair up because so, I need a clean face Right, so what I'm going to start with, um, I had a lot of people writing in saying can I do a really quick makeup in the morning, I only have 10 minutes and as I demonstrated on, um, on this morning the other day, um, I showed how a lady did a 10 minute makeover before she went to school, um, to the children's school basically. So what I'm going to do is show you how I get up really really early and a lot of the time you'll find that most makeup artists look terrible when they go on set because they don't have time to do themselves and we're usually up at five or four. Um, I'm quite lucky I don't have to get up that early but I still don't really want to lose a lot of sleep so I take maybe 10 minutes max to do my makeup in the morning. Um, at the moment I've got a bit of a tan so I don't use too much. Um, I don't really use too much anyway but this is basically all my makeup that I fit into this bag. Yeah, right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you my really quick routine. I've already put moisturiser on and a little bit of eye cream. Um, at the moment I'm using this which is Biotherm BB Cream. I love this. Um, I'm just going to squirt a bit on my hand. Now I do use brushes, I know everyone else that, oh I do it with my hands, that's fine, you can do that. I just really like doing, using brushes just because that's kind of what I do every day. Um, and I'm just going to pop it all over. I do it over my lips as well because I have really red lips, so I want to dull those down. And I kind of do it in swirly motion. This brush is from Real Techniques, I really really like it. I go on my lids as well. Um, you will find that most makeup artists actually have terrible makeup in their own handbag but amazing makeup in their kit and one thing I never do is I never go into my own kit for makeup which again a lot of people find really strange because so I've got beautiful brands, lovely foundations, everything, everything you could possibly want but I actually just use the kind of dregs on myself which is obviously not always ideal but I don't really, I prefer making other people look beautiful than myself. So I'm just going to pop that all over. It's really nice this because it's quite glossy um, and very light. At the moment I find it hard to match my skin because I keep going brown to light to brown to light. Which is not very helpful. Um, now as you can see I have quite darkness under my eyes here. Which I want to get rid of. Um, this is a strange little product that actually is an eye, it's a cream eyeshadow from Inamasca. You see it's a kind of pinky colour. Um, I use that to cover any of my dark circles, a bit like I was saying the other day on this morning, it's really good to use a pink tone to cover any darkness. So what I'm going to do is just with my finger, I'm just going to pop it just in the corner and under my eye. So this is my corrector. Um, I think this, this is called Emerge from Illamasqua, but I also like to put it on top as well because a lot of people get quite a lot of veins on the top of their lid, so I'll just pop that on. See how quick I'm doing it, I'm not very, uh, not very delicate with my own face. And same this side. Um, but actually because this is quite pinky, actually it's probably a bit more peachy, it kind of works with my skin quite well. So I'm, I don't really need to put a concealer over the top. What I'm going to do is, because I've used the BB cream, it just gives me a really light coverage. Um, I don't actually want to use a foundation. But what I do want is in certain areas I want to cover up more. So I use a foundation stick from Bobbi Brown. This is in my colour, maybe a little bit too dark because it was my dark colour. But I'm just going to pop that just a little bit underneath. And this again brings it back to the yellow tone. Only a tiny bit. I'm just If I've got a spot or anything I tend to get a bit blemishy around here, around here. And as I've got a hay fever, which I'm sure all of you are, I get red around here. Again, really quick. I've got yeah, nice little tan mark for my, my wrinkled forehead. 
Um, and that's done, so that's my base. Bish bash bosh. Um, I'm quite dewy, but I'm gonna leave it dewy because what I'm gonna do is use, this is my new little favorite product. This is a Giorgio Armani Maestro blush. This is great because it's a small amount, goes a really, really long way. So keep using creams. If you're just gonna sit with creams, I cream foundation, BB creams and things like that, and you want a cream blusher, you don't powder for, you don't powder after you've applied your foundation, you powder right at the end, because I'm still using cream bases. If I was gonna use a powder blush, then I would powder and then use a powder blush, if that makes sense. So with this, tiny, tiny amount, and I'm actually gonna use this brush, which is slightly wider, and I'm just gonna splatter that across my hand like that, just get a bit all over the brush, and then smile and just pop it along my apples and my cheeks, up to my cheekbone. I really like a lot of blush because I think it looks nice and looks nice and fresh. Like I've been for a jog, which I don't really do. So it kind of cheats and pretends that I'm really healthy and you know, do a lot of running. See, it gives me a nice little, you know, as if I've just run here. Um, so that's all I want. I don't want it to be heavy. I like to feel my skin. I like my skin to be quite tacky. I constantly touch my face, so I don't want to feel like I'm wearing a mask. Um, now that I'm finished with my creams, as it were, I am going to use a tiny, tiny bit of powder. This is just a Chanel one. And I'm going to pop it just on my forehead, down my nose, on these areas, like your T-zone. I'm not going to touch my cheeks. Right, done. So if I was feeling super lazy, I'd probably just put a bit of mascara on and then go, but oh, I've got a bit more time. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cream eyeshadow. This one is quite natural by MAC. Again, finger, not gonna bother to use a brush. All over my eyelid here. So from the lashes, blend it all the way up. But again, I don't want it really heavy. Just wanna give it a kind of you know, slightly smoky effect. But actually I've decided that because I don't want to wear too much now, I'm going to go with quite a bright lip. So I'm not going to do a lot on my eyes because I don't really like to do, you either do one or the other. Occasionally you can do really heavy eyes and bright lips, but it tends to be quite a, quite a bold look that, and I'm not really, I'm only going to work. So really simple, just blending that out. Nothing too crazy. That's done. And then my, I have to use these. If I don't have eyelash curlers and I don't curl my eyelashes, I can't bear it. I, I hate putting up, um, mascara on if I can't curl them because I think this just absolutely lifts your eyes up. So what I'm gonna do is take the eyelash curlers. Now I was trying to demo this the other day on someone and it, a lot of people are quite scared by it. Go right in with the eyelash curlers, right onto your kind of eyeball area, and then don't pull the eyelash curlers away. Just literally go straight in, go right along the lash line, and hold it and clamp. About five seconds. Then let go, blink. Then go a little bit further along the lashes, a little bit further up, hold it and blink but I'm not pulling, that's the key. Don't pull these, because then you'll pull your eyelashes out. So literally just hold it, squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, and then a little bit along. And I just find that just massively makes a difference to my eyelashes. It just lifts the entire thing up. Then a bit of mascara. I'm not gonna do an eyeliner, because as I said, I wanna do quite a bright lip. Um, so I don't really want to do an eyeliner today, but sometimes I do. Um, a little bit of mascara on the top. I'm quite quick at this and sometimes I stab myself in the eye, which isn't always good because then your eye waters and then you've kind of got to do the whole thing all over again. So with any luck, today will be a good day and I don't do that. All over. I love watching people's faces when they put mascara because loads of people there. Like open their mouths and then do really weird movements with their eyes. Um, hopefully I don't look too bizarre. So get right in there. I love this mascara. Um, 
Mascara is a really personal thing. Like so many people ask me what the best mascara is and it's like, it really depends on your lashes. I love this one because I've got quite long lashes but they're not particularly full. So I like to have, I like to have a mascara that gives myself like a fluffy look, a full lash look. So this is Faux Lash, which I really love. But the only problem with this product, which I think is amazing, and I will buy it every time, is it doesn't last very long. It doesn't really even last the six weeks that it's supposed to last. It does dry out quite quickly, but it is an amazing product, so you kind of have to weigh it up. Um, I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm actually going to do it with this because I found this the other day in my cupboard and I really like it and I completely forgot about it. This is a Bobbi Brown um, eyebrow pencil in mahogany. It's quite a chalky texture which is really nice to put through your brows. It's not waxy so it's a bit more like an eyeshadow but it's in a pencil form. I've already got humongous eyebrows so I don't really need to do too much but they are going slightly balding there. So I just literally just take it through and just follow my eyebrow line just at the end. Just like that. And a little bit here. Sure. That's done. Um, and now all I'm going to do is a little bit <clears throat> of a really bright gloss. This is incredibly bright, by the way. You can put it on like ridiculously bright, or you can let it out. It's uh, again a really nice Giorgio Armani. It's kind of my new favourite. Quite fickle. I have different favourites every week. Uh, it's it's a really like silky, velvety feel on the lip, but it's a gloss, so it's not sticky in the slightest. It's quite matte when it goes on, but it does glide on beautifully. And um, and just, I like to pat it on with my hand up afterwards, just blend it in a bit. That was, that's pretty much it, and then I just literally, now I'm just going to pop my hair down, and then I'm ready to go. So, hopefully that was about 10 minutes. We'll see.